computer mo uh, aided modeling or CAD in general is um, a generic name for different type of programs that uh, enables us to um, generate sketches, drawings from the parts and components and uh, create some documents that can be uh, understandable by uh, different people who are involved in uh, production, maintenance or um, uh, other um, activities which is required for parts and, and uh, industrial components. In fact, the idea of uh, drawing things in, in the forms of the, that are, they are going to be built and made came from long time ago. You can go to the uh, Persepolis in Iran or Acropolis in Greece and see that the engineers that time, 2000, 3000 years ago, when they wanted to build those civil, civil structures, they first they put them on the piece of uh, papyrus or, or paper. The engineers or the uh, construction workers who wanted to build those civil structures that time, they could look at those uh, papers or, or um, any uh, or uh, those uh, stones that the sketch was uh, on, on, uh, drawn on, on that uh, stones and, and they could follow that, that map or, or those uh, guidelines to, to build the things. It was only used for uh, civil structures and um, buildings, for example. Uh, but with advancement in technology, uh, people use engineering drawings to make uh, equipments, parts, and uh, other stuff. You can see Leonardo da Vinci have lots of drawings on flying machine or flying device. First, what he had in his mind, he put it on the piece of paper. Yes, he never could make those things, but based on what he put on those piece of papers, in future, people came to the uh, idea of developing it and making something that uh, can really fly. And it happened for, for all different aspects of technologies and, and uh, industries. Then some new term was introdu introduced to the industry by, by engineers called engineering graphics and engineering drawings. Definitely, it, uh, they put some standard to make it uniform for all engineers, no matter what is their native language, to understand these things. That's why these days you can see an engineer has some, some design idea. It, he puts it on a piece of paper uh, in Japan and sends it some, to Russia. And engineers in Russia, without knowing Japanese, just by looking at that, uh, d uh, drawing, they understand what is in the mind of the uh, Japanese engineer and they can make it. With uh, development of the uh, new technologies, especially uh, introduction of uh, computers uh, to the technology, uh, some, some uh, genius software developers uh, started making and uh, creating some uh, programs that can help engineers to draw lines and to draw sketches. And it uh, became very popular because it made it life very easy for uh, people who used to uh, make those drawings by different tools. Now they're sitting behind the computer and uh, they make what they want. It was basically for two-dimensional sketches that they can make the uh, drawings and, and then they could send it to the builders or, or, or uh, machinists to, to make it. With giving the third dimension to these 2D sketch, then people could make 3D models using those computer softwares. The number of softwares were, uh, and programs were increased. Different people, based on the demands, they made different softwares in different areas. But 
most of them be, uh, were capable of making models, 3D models of, of the parts, equipment, tools, machineries. With advancement of technologies and having very um, well-developed uh, computer modeling softwares, now there was some interaction between these two. Then uh, new technologies came out that they were connected to the computer and actually data from computers could be uh, converted to some type of language which is understandable by those machines, uh, the, some, some cutting machines, some cutting tools, some um, um, other uh, uh, welding machines, for example, uh, that uh, with having the sp uh, sketch of the part or equipment, they specifically, they knew that what type of the uh, work needs to be done on uh, those uh, parts. CNC machine is a very good example when uh, the part is milled based on the drawing or model that is uh, given to the computer which is connected to this machine. The, one of the newest uh, advancement in this area is additive manufacturing uh, and that if we can produce and generate a model from a component, um, then we can give it to the uh, computer and computer will send it to the machine and based on the information regarding the size, geometry, shape and uh, other important uh, things that is, is uh, very crucial for fabrication of this material, uh, it can be built and, and produced by uh, the end machine using the data that it receives basically just from the model uh, that we produced initially from that, from what we want. As an example, there were some, some uh, machines that have been built um, many years ago, but they are still being used or many parts or components or historical uh, stuff and uh, they cannot be touched or they, the uh, drawings, uh, original drawings from them is not available. We have some tools uh, called uh, uh, 3D scanners that can scan through those materials and make a, mod uh, their, a model from those. Now you give that model to the uh, uh, machine, additive manufacturing machine, and the exact part or component can be produced. You can see every, um, some extra steps that we have in traditional uh, manufacturing uh, techniques here, they are eliminated. And just by seeing, observing, creating models and those models which are understandable by our end machine which is the our production tool we, we can can make uh, this uh, tools or components or parts it's it's called a single step production or single step manufacturing which is only possible by computer aided modeling uh, programs. All those interesting advancement in technologies became possible by uh, availability of computer-aided modeling programs. However, there are still lots of challenges remaining in this area. The way that we can make those computer uh, programs more user-friendly and it's, uh, make it easier to have more features for uh, builders, for machinists, for, for engineers to uh, use those features to uh, add to their drawings uh, what they want, what is desired. And um, I would like to say that many of those features now are available, but still we have a, a long way to go to 
make those models um, exactly at the same line with the advance advancement in the technologies, for example. Um, we have some tools for, for the additive manufacturing uh, machines to um, read and, and understand data from the computer uh, as regarding the, the generated models, but um, future is uh, limitless.